of France 24's Chris Moore is there in Rambouillet and joins us now. Chris, just tell us a bit more about what's been happening there. Well, officials and uh, members of the public slowly gathering here in uh, Rombouillet, which uh, you said uh, is a, a smallish town, 26,000 or so uh, inhabitants, about three quarters of an, uh, an hour's drive uh, southwest of the French capital. Normally uh, a pretty uh, quiet place. It was shocked uh, on Friday and when this 49-year-old uh, administrative assistant at the uh, local police station uh, was, as you say, uh, stabbed to death. Uh, by a suspect uh, subsequently named as a 36-year-old uh, Tunisian uh, national. We've been hearing from uh, loved ones and uh, former colleagues who've been speaking out in French media uh, over the weekend describing uh, a loving mother and somebody who was always a smiling uh, and motivated colleague. As you said there, there have been a litany of terrorist incidents uh, in France uh, in recent years. Obviously, the most reported ones have uh, been the likes of the, the Bataclan attacks uh, in Paris, the attacks on the offices at uh, Charlie Hebdo, but there's also been a series of smaller scale incidents, often involving uh, single perpetrators uh, and single victims. And often those victims have been members of the security services uh, and uh, uh, the, the, the police are uh, simply uh, out on duty. And as uh, citizens here in Rombouillet uh, remember this latest incident today, uh, we've been, been uh, had calls for similar ceremonies at uh, police stations, at gendarmerie uh, across the nation. And Chris, what more details have, have emerged from the investigation that's underway? As you said, a 36-year-old uh, Tunisian uh, national. Since Friday, we've seen uh, two of his cousins and uh, his uh, father taken into uh, police custody. The, farmer, the father uh, apparently is describing somebody who had become uh, more uh, devout, more rigorous uh, in his uh, practice of religion. Also somebody who'd been suffering from behavioural problems, psychological problems, and had uh, sought treatment uh, for them. The authorities pretty quickly saying that this was clearly a radicalised individual who shouted at Alou Akbar at the scene of the attack and apparently uh, consulted uh, extremist images on his uh, mobile phone uh, just beforehand. We were talking there about this litany of terrorist uh, incidents uh, here in France. Obviously, it remains a political a uh, hot-button uh, issue about a year away from a presidential election. Now Emmanuel Macron's government's uh, detractors have uh, already been going uh, uh, on the attack, uh, accusing the government of softness. Uh, we've uh, once again had uh, more uh, legal proposals uh, from the government in terms of giving them bigger powers to uh, raid people's homes, to use computer algorithms, to track people's uh, online uh, activity, obviously cracking down on radical mosques, uh, radical preachers, radical groups, uh, which the government has been doing in recent years is one thing, uh, but going after what are in many cases simply uh, individuals is a much more difficult, a much more difficult task. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for bringing us up to speed. France 24's Chris Moore in Rambouillet. Thank you so much.